Don't dream of a white Christmas, make sure of it. Down in South Moulton Street, snow falls on cue out of paper bags to mark the street's first ever display of lights. Judging by our recent weather, they could have picked their day and had the real stuff for free. Pop singer Clodagh Rogers waves her magic torch and hey presto, the lights are on. Christmas lights go on all over the Christian world, but not always for entirely Christian reasons. Most lights, like these in Glasgow, are designed to attract shoppers, to make us spend our money and indulge in the deadly sin of gluttony. But it's not all materialism. Some lights are put up only to decorate. Glimmering across the cool, dark waters of the Clyde, they reflect the quietness and tranquility we need to see Christmas for what it really is. Christian in name, but pagan in origin, it links mankind in defiance of the dark things of this world. The message is light and hope and warmth. In Carnaby Street, Pop Art rings out the Christmas commercial. The message seems to be more about the man on the moon than the star in the east. In Regent Street, the message is more opulent, more discreet. But what would Christmas be without the crackers, the turkey and the plum pudding? You can't have a festival without having a feast, and perhaps gluttony is no bad thing once in a while. And what a mouth-watering, tempting array it all makes. If the agony of choosing is too much for you, you can get it all ready packed in a hamper. Another tradition of Christmas Day for Dad, at least, the after-dinner cigar. Into this warehouse in Ipswich come cigar tobaccos from all over the world. The leaves have already been dried and allowed to ferment before being shipped to Britain. Stage one is a moisturizing machine that softens and separates the bundles of leaves. This is one of Europe's most modern cigar factories. It produces a quarter of the cigars smoked in Britain. The conditioned leaves are chopped and skillfully blended, ready for wrapping in the binder. This firm uses fine Connecticut leaf to wrap its cigars. It can cost as much as 10 pounds a pound. Cigar smoking in Britain has grown fourfold in the last 10 years. We now smoke 50 million pounds worth a year. That's still pretty small compared with the Danes, who each year smoke more than 300 cigars per head. Certainly cigars are gradually becoming an all the year round habit, but even so, 25% of the year's sales are made in the three weeks before Christmas. That's something for him after the table's been cleared and the presents all open. Presents. Now there's one of the secrets behind the magic of Christmas. Most adults enjoy Christmas at second hand, watching the wonder and the happiness in the eyes of their children or grandchildren, nephews and nieces, remembering what it was like to be a child. To open your eyes in the cold grey light of dawn, if not earlier, and see the bulging stocking at the foot of the bed.
and dad's finished with them, model railways are still a favorite. He swims fine, but he can't balance a ball for Tuffy. As one of London's major stores, Harrods will be helping to fill many wonderful stockings on Christmas Eve. A battery-powered monster of the future. Just wait till your television set does this to you. For the young, Father Christmas is the most important character of all. Probably even the youngest can see through the red robes, the wig and the false beard. But that doesn't matter, it's the one who comes down the chimney that really counts. Anyway, to young and old alike, a very happy Christmas from all of us at Movie Time.